Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena. The season has been finally reset. We have reset the medals and officially we have a new season and what a better way to start off the season than to cheese some players. So we are gonna be playing a Brute Mother Skeleton today and obviously with Mana Pump to just add an extra cheese. He's gonna be playing Mother Skeleton as well but it doesn't really matter that much. Looks like his Mother Skeleton will win but it doesn't really matter that much because we have the blitz anyway so we're gonna be playing drunker here and looks like my opponent will be playing a drunker loon himself so we're gonna be playing phones here and right now we're gonna just be stacking a huge bush behind hopefully get something going and he's gonna be playing phones which is very correct response to what I'm doing in the meantime I'm gonna just try to get as much going as possible the brute and mother skeleton have been deployed and right now he's just a little, in a little of trouble because he kinda has to stop all this 14 mana and he kinda cannot yeah this longsword connects to the tower and that's gonna be a very fast, fast game number one so but like you see this deck is pretty much hit or miss and in this uh, particular scenario my opponent won't be having any response to my cards whatsoever. These, these mother skeletons won't three star by themselves but it's a very good it's a very good start so we're gonna cycle phones in the back and from this one forward I think yeah I was about to say that's gonna be a challenging part so we're gonna play devils to, uh, and a brute to distract the mother skeleton because we obviously don't want to we don't want to lose these devils and the tower in the process. So we're gonna be playing longsword here. He's gonna yeah uh, his mother skeleton will spawn skeleton so I'm gonna just add bullets. It wasn't a very fabulous trade for me, but at the same time at this point in the game I don't think that cost efficiency kinda uh, kinda matters. Because I can just do things like this, get some damage, okay, uh, it, it wasn't enough. Well, it looks like my opponent just given up, and yeah, with that we're gonna jump to the game number two. So anyway, I was, uh, I have finished a number two in the world in a recent month, so uh, right now we, we kind of start the next season, and with that being said, I don't think there is much to be worried We have been all reset to buy a, a we got reset half of our medals from the recent season and uh, well our other players got it as well so we are gonna okay we're gonna face some steel bait here which is gonna be very tough matchup but anyhow everyone got reset by a half from the last season and I kinda uh, am happy about that because this Russian player with a uh, with a um, bridge spam had 7k so it would be very hard to catch uh, him up if he didn't get uh, floor to the 2.5k and uh, th that's why I'm gonna just try to get this number one in this season we're gonna see actually how it turns out I'm gonna put a madness here just to make the things for more annoying for him I actually wanted this mother skeleton to be on madness but she will barely miss it so that was a mistake on my part this brute though will absolutely connect and the mother skeleton and I think that's gonna be just tower down very cool to see we're gonna play a mana collector and I actually misplaced it because right now he can play a missile and hit both tower and a mana pump so that was a mistake on my side huh. a crap lot of mistakes today but yeah I'm, I'm kinda tired after yesterday's session I'm gonna I'm gonna be cooking some new videos for you guys uh, uh, in March, April, and at the uh, start of May, and that's gonna be these uh, YouTube shorts that you have uh, recently seen. They will be popping out uh, pr pretty much every single uh, day till I run out of cards, and until that, you are gonna uh, hopefully enjoy some new content from me. I'm gonna play a brute right here because, well, 
that's gonna be a brutal way to end this video and with that being said i don't think my opponent can ever defend what i'm gonna just uh, send at him yeah gg well played let's hop to the game number three and our third opponent will be Mason, who will be having this time 10 medals instead of 0 that was kind of the fraud of first two games even though they are warm up i kind of want them to be at least somewhat quality so like beating zero medals is just not fun for me especially that i am capable of beating way harder players actually one skeleton will survive and this brute won't do absolutely anything i'm gonna misplace a pump once again well today's my my gameplay is just is, is just not it i'm gonna probably have to um, take some rest uh, for this weekend because it's just it's just not good. I'm gonna play a Brute here and hope for some action. Right now he will have to respond appropriately to that because if he doesn't, I'm gonna just yeah, I'm gonna just put madness and that's gonna be a tower down. If he doesn't add anything, that's a tower down and this Necromarcer will be dead as well. So unfortunately this brute dies, so that's gonna be some apes for him, and I kinda have to respond with a longsword. I was thinking about playing a mother skeleton here, but it would be a horrendous blunder since he has the necromancer on the board. Okay, so we're gonna be right now playing a mother skeleton and a brute and hope that we are gonna get a 3 star. Oh, and this longsword pretty much seals the deal because right now he doesn't have any mana at all and right now I can just overrun him and if he doesn't, yeah, he has, he has bullets, that was pretty much the best possible response in this scenario and he actually happened to have it in the deck, which, well, was very cool for him, but not for me because this game will extend for some quite a while from now on. So yeah, we're gonna be heading into a double mana time, and I don't think actually him coming back to this, but you, you know, I'm not gonna exclude him just now because it can be just plain root. Maybe, maybe he is like a boom arena legend you never know that mother skeleton i hope will put some work actually yeah she, she will just die that's why she isn't a good oh a good card because like by herself she's pretty me mediocre so uh dark cards like a gunner which kinda uh can be a star of the show by themselves and then mother skeleton kinda has to be protected by the brute or cards like this i would i'll actually love to get a three star hit there we go okay so yeah like i've said i kind of like a gunner because she can pretty much fit into any deck she's very strong and versatile by herself and mara skeleton kind of needs the protection because it's one more mana investment and you kind of are okay with losing a gunner but you are absolutely not okay with losing a mother skeleton because you always expect for her to get more value than she actually costs and right now we're gonna finally find some good matchup we're gonna be facing shikolo so and i'm gonna just cycle long sword first play at the bridge there's no reason not to he's gonna play a digger which is gonna be fine response again with ice tiny i feel like i'm Okay, that was that was way too late. I should have blitzed it way earlier, and yeah, that, that's not gonna work out. I'm gonna play Fonz. Right now, he kind of knows that I'm gonna be playing a cheese deck, and because of that, I will have to be very careful, because Shiko also is uh, playing Poison very often, and unfortunately, Poison is like god tier against what I'm playing, and I'm gonna play the long sword here. To clean this up unfortunately i will have to just suck the entire brute i cannot support it but at the same time he's respecting my brute way more than i anticipated him to so i'm gonna just kind of let it die see what's cooking and hope that life will be good so he's gonna be actually playing a digger i kind of have to respond to that and there's the poison so i'm gonna right now play a mana pump and that was a very good trade for me because he spent uh, 7 mana on pretty much getting some damage and killing my mother skeleton and right now he doesn't have a good response against a mana pump and that's why I'm gonna be pretty happy with my position, it's not like perfect or anything but it's absolutely playable so I'm gonna just cycle some phones 
in the back. I'm gonna play Brute in the back and uh, he's gonna go, which is which is absolutely normal response. I'm gonna play right now long sword. He's gonna delete my pump, which is uh, which is gonna suck. Not gonna lie. But at the same time, I'm gonna play uh, Mother Skeleton, and I believe he won't be respecting this push as much as he uh, does uh, need to. So I'm gonna play a Madness here, and I'd love these devils to kill this HUD, but yeah, it, it didn't happen. He's gonna be actually having a brilliant matchup against my deck, so I'll have to be very careful, careful from now on. We're gonna get Fawns going, which is perfect. He's gonna get another poison, which is like one of the worst things that can happen. I actually will keep playing uh, mana pumps uh, in this position, so both towers can engage uh, into the Gera. I'm gonna play Long Sword. Nothing too fancy right now. I'm gonna play Devils, and I think I'm gonna just cycle to another Brute. We're gonna get some double lane action going. I'd love to kill this piercing archer and I do. Very cool stuff. I'm gonna play Blitz here and right now he kinda is a, in a pickle because he has to choose which side he wants to defend and yeah <laughs> he cannot defend the right side. Yeah that's gonna be very nice game against like higher rated opponent. He I presume finished at 1k in a previous season so it's pretty nice to see and yeah, with that we're gonna jump to the last game of the video. And there we are, we're gonna be actually starting with Brute and Mother Skeleton in our first hand, but I don't feel like playing this combo right off the bat would be nice, so I'm gonna just wait for him to play first and now I can just play a Brute in front because I kinda use a Mother Skeleton for defense anyway and oh my god, that was... That was actually brilliant bomber out of him, so I'm gonna just give him nice play. I won't support that because even though I could, I didn't know what he had and he had Viking which is like one of the best counters possible to... Okay, that, that's gonna be a pickle. I'm, I'm gonna actually struggle to defend right here. I don't even, I don't even know I can defend this tower because this Viking will just shred it all up together so yeah that's gonna be a brilliant start for him I actually didn't expect him to play a Bomberman to support that Viking so that's gonna be a brilliant start for my opponent and right now we're in a very difficult situation because we have to come back to this game although my opponent is very kind and kinda gives me some hope by playing like a flying robot which is which is not a bad play but not at the bridge and not against my devils, like he just gave me a free value and I absolutely, I absolutely took it because when your opponent gives you a good thing, there's absolutely no reason to be a prick about it and do not accept it. So I'm gonna play long sword here, I'm gonna delete this dark knight out of the existence and right now I'll have to just, okay, I'm gonna play mother skeleton and right now I think I'm gonna just go with what I have. I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna leave the long sword. I'm gonna go with the brute. I'm gonna play the devils, and there we go. That's gonna be a beautiful push from us. We're gonna put a madness just in case he plays Viking, and it's gonna be tower down. Very cool to see. He plays a machine gun, with, which, you know, I don't want to say anything, but my opponent is just hard throwing this game after having a brilliant advantage and he's not gonna even defend a viking tower, wow. Well, that was a throw out of me, but then followed by throw of my opponent, so yeah. That's why I was able pretty much to come back to this game, because it wasn't looking very well after the first 30 seconds or so. So yeah, that's gonna be a new season video for you guys, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more Boom Arena content coming up every single day and yeah i'm gonna see you guys in the next episode very soon in boom arena